Welcome back to another part of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and let's get it. Goodness, this place is quite loud. Okay, we're gonna get back to our horse now. Okay then, girl. This is the location we need to be for the next quest. We need to we need to kill them, I think. Boy, I need some help. Be there right quick. Yeah, you better say D. Don't make me warn you again now. Sorry. No, I'll stop it now. There is so many enemies. You wanna have to tell your kin you was dead anyway. Uh, I think we need to get our bow. This is what a double barrel shotgun? No, it's not. I'm dead, dude. I don't know how to do this quest. There is so many enemies. There is literally so many enemies, dude. This is, the, this is actually the weird part, though. When we die, it doesn't say restart from checkpoint. It just gives us minus money. And then spawns us. What? No. Don't save. Kind of have to, I guess. What? It spawned me all the way back at base! Bro! We were all the way out there! Are you kidding me? Bro, this is really stupid. Restart a checkpoint, man. Why was that an option? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go all the way back there now. I think it's this location that we've been at. Maybe maybe we can try this one. Sure, mark it. Let's go. I don't know. We, we might need to do both. So, yeah, I will get you guys there. Here we are here. Yo, chill, dude. Is the marker never gonna mark where we should take it? Just mark it, bro. I'm sure our host will follow us eventually. He needs oil, so I think this is enough oil. And this one might be a lot easier to get than the other one.
I'm pretty sure during gunfights like that that we died on, uh, we kind of have to use some healing items. I still have to figure out the healing items though. Making my way downtown, riding fast, I guess. This thing loses speed real quick. I wonder why the marker says we need to drive straight here. Okay, well, I'll get you guys there, unless something interesting happens. Okay, we're here. Wherever here is. We just released the horses. Uh, we have another mark on the screen now. And now it's uh, to make our way back. Yep. Whoa, not here. I almost killed my horse there, man. The rain is also pretty nice. The atmosphere, when it comes to the surroundings, uh, you know, rain, snow, all these things is pretty beautiful in this game. But yeah, I'll catch you guys. Uh... Oh, my glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. And head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Wait for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it. There they right. are, on foot from here. Stake out your position. Yeah, well, I guess... No, I want my bow. If we can get the first kill with the bow, that's pretty juicy. Because they shouldn't know which direction it came from. Hey! You idiots ever hear a Dutch's voice? You're gonna pay for this! Ugh. You have no idea what hell is coming your way! We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot! Ugh! <laughs> <sighs> I'm bored listening to this ah. son of a bitch. Friends showed up. Oh! 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 Oh!
probes. I'll get them booties. Just in time. Let's go. Get me out of here. Oh, thanks, Xavier. I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. My goodness. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. <sighs> What's next? That's one beautiful horse, man. I guess now we can go back to our quest. Should we play this game a little bit in first person view? Okay, girl. It would feel like we're playing Cyberpunk, which we haven't covered on this channel yet, but hopefully at some point we will. Or maybe we should make the next part just that the title, you know? First person, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll keep it at third for now. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you at the point that we need to go to next. There. I'm coming in. The hero returns. Yes. Okay, we're back at camp. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Women are fighting. I mean, what's new? John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> this hat makes me think of... Uh... That we're a little bit of a pirate. I had some fun last night. The quest is right here that we can start, so let's do that. Uh, who did you call a goddamn drunkard? <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's actually in in uh, in this vicinity at camp. I think every chapter the camp moves, if I'm not mistaken. And there's six chapters. We're still in chapter two, though. This game will be extremely long, I believe. I'm okay with that. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. 
Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a fishing pole? I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Too far from the camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? All right. Looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Walk to the riverbank and start fishing. Start it. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Well, you could just throw it here if you want to, but... Just by the water there? You mean? First, we need some bait. So go to the wheel. Cheese! Are you serious? I'm gonna use some cheese. Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Bad luck. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. I think you've got a bite. Look. Whoop, think I got one. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. <laughs> we barely made it into the water. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Let me guess, the kid is going to get lost. 
see what's biting there. It's a small one again. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yes, it is. I know. Born as hell. But then something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. That is not good. Jack, your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Got into real trouble there, man. Are you taking me back? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from 
folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Fishing is was probably the most boring thing in the world, man, I swear. I feel like I've never hunted in my life, but I feel like hunting would be the same thing. Also, I don't want to hunt. There you are! How you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Mission complete. <clears throat> we just spawned another mission. So there's uh, two missions away. Uh, very, very far away from each other. You can see one on the right, one on the left. Really, really far away from each other. So I don't know which one to do first. Maybe this one right here. I'll mark it and then we'll go there. So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, so and got the full Boston, message. Brilliant. What did you it's think? You I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Is that food nearly ready? It's Wait, is people eating? Where's my food, man? I'm the hardest working person here. Where's my food? Everyone's walking around with food. Listen, buddy. Jack, you are a Look at Why can't I talk to you? Where's my food? Evening. It's okay, Ma. Don't tempt me. You were impulsive, little maggot. I get some money and get you some big boy. You did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. I guess I'm not getting food. Evening, Arthur. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. The cigarettes was even created back then. I thought it was only cigars. <laughs> guess I... I'm learning even the lessons from back then. Yeah. Anyway, guys, just as before, uh, we'll catch you guys once we're there. It's a very, very long ride, so I'll catch you guys when we're a little bit closer. Yeah, it seems that we're here. to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. 
Oh, playing like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. This does not sound good. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Tristan told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. Seems like this guy is more trouble than good. I guess. This ridge. Oh. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. There they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. Are we covered up? Yes. They are riding. Stop that coach right now. They're riding really fast. Ah! 
come on. Why is my horse so slow, dude? My horse is so slow compared to them. We might need to use a better weapon, to be honest. Let's use this one. How did the second shot miss? This gun is worse. Mandala. This time I aimed at the driver instead. Are you getting on? How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. Can we go? But there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. It is my style. It's a rifle. What did I tell you? Licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Ain't the shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. What the hell? Come on, Arthur. Get out of there. You dumb bastards. There's so many of them.
I'll show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. <laughs> You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the... On account of... Well, this little mess. You shooting it or not? Go on then. Did I not shoot it? What? I'm done wasting my breath on you. <clears throat> that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It is good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Gang, sir. Dude, there's so many dead bodies here. Goodness. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so now the next quest is all the way here. I don't know if I should loot all their bodies because we're running pretty low. Yeah, maybe we should. We're running pretty low on, on ammo. The ones in the water actually gets looted pretty fast. Get my horse closer. There's people coming. Come on, girl. We have to get out of here now. I don't know if we got any ammo from that, to be honest. But we did kill an extra person for no reason. Yeah. But they wanted us off. So it should just be a home run all the way to the location. So yeah, I will catch you beautiful people there. Look at that bridge though, that's so nice. Yeah, I'll catch you guys there. For now, there's a train. That's so cool, dude. Okay, we're here. Well, 
least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Dude, does every chapter start and end with a train robbery? That's what it seems like. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. Now. I was saying, that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, knock the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? 
I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Bastard! All yours, Captain! Bastard! Go on ahead! I can't loot them yet. From here, you should check on Sean. Nope. Okay. I don't want to go. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Stay with the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> I got a reload. Need some help here, boy. I'll miss you, brother. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tentacles what do you mean? in there? Hush bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. Huh? Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. 
goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you about <laughs> Sign. coming from behind us, so I assume we go this way. For some reason, the Lord knows exactly where we are. They went to the wrong road. Whoa! Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Gang share 750. Your share 180. That's pretty nice. So we got a new mission here showing up. We're pointing in that direction. So enter this as the waypoint and then we'll just travel there. Yep. Or at least as close as possible. But you guys know the drill, I'll catch you beautiful people there. Yes. Getting robbed again.
This time we survived it. Don't mind me grabbing their things. They got some nice money on them, to be honest. Wow, you know we have seven hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. Seven hundred and sixty dollars, dude. That that's pretty good. Hey, we're in town. Goodness, my CPU usage is very high. Can we save here? Progress player. No, it's story. Yeah, we can save here. So that's going to mean that we're going to end this episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next one. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to do some nerves. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.